Examining methods for combining speed and accuracy in a go, no go task. Introduction. Performances assessed by either speed or accuracy alone might be inconsistently measured due to measurement errors or strategic responses. Combining speed and accuracy into a single measure may help produce a measure with greater statistical power. This research attempts to compare the major pure and combined measures of performance and understand their sensitivity in a go, no go vigilance task. We use data from a go, no go task that was originally published by Smith et al. 2019. In this task, participants had to repeatedly detect whether two simulated airplane trajectories were aligned. 30 participants took part in the two sessions lasting 320 trials each over 40 minutes for 60 total sessions. The goal of this analysis was to determine whether a vigilance decrement, i.e. time-related performance decrease within session, could be detected in each individual session for the different performance measures. The measures evaluated were pure measures, simple combined measures, integrated z-scores, and model-based approaches. Going into the results, we computed the slope of each measure across blocks. This figure shows the best fit line for each session within each measure, excluding easy threshold, which decreased in 29 cases out of 16. Results show that each of the simple combined measures, IES, BIS, RCS, LISAS, performed better than each of the peer measures, that means accuracy, mean response time, and mean correct response time. Mean correct response time performed the worst in 41 cases out of 60. The pool BIS performed better in 51 cases, and the LBA drift parameter identified the most cases, which is 52. The measures extracted from EZ model were not predictive for decision threshold and non-decision time, and were on par with response time alone for drift rate. Next, we calculated correlation coefficients between each measure and block number to compare measures on equal footing. This figure shows the distribution of each measure. All measures demonstrated a vigilance decrement on average. Some showed a positive correlation, whereas the others showed a negative correlation. But these were all consistent with the decrement. Then this figure visualizes the squared average correlation matrix across participants. Overall, there was a strong association between a handful of measures, IES, IES2, RCS, LBA drift rate, and all with R square values around 0.9 or above, whereas response time, correct response time, and LISAs showed a strong similarity as well. We summarized each measure in this table, which includes the number of sessions out of 60 that produced a vigilance decrement and the agreement with the majority vote of the 11 measures in the table. We suggest that the LBA model, IES, BIS and RCS are the most sensitive to the decrement and also the most representative, matching the majority in 59 of all 60 cases. To summarize, pure measures of performance were less successful than combined measures at detecting the vigilance decrement. So integrated measures of speed and accuracy may provide more sensitive measures of performance than pure accuracy or response time measures alone in vigilance go no go tasks. The LBA model performs well, but the complexity of estimating the model may prevent its widespread use. And several other combined measures like IES, BIS, RCS perform about as well. Further methodological advances may permit easier analysis with the LBA model and could enable more practical integrated measures of human performance in many applied settings. Error rate changes might have large impacts on combined measures in many circumstances. For example, IES, which can be thought of as an error corrected response time, shows much larger means and vigilance than raw response time, especially driven by a handful of participant sessions. This is the poster for our presentation. Thank you for watching.